If I could pick any golf tournament to win non-major, uh, I'm going to take that one. So just, I, and going into it, I knew that there was this little bit of a curse. I think really just having a tournament so close to home and literally had hundreds of people out there, family and friends watching that Sunday. So uh, afterwards to be able to give them hugs and um, for them to be there for my first PGA Tour victory was really special. I just know like middle of last year, started noticing it like really affected me on my backswing. Um, left shoulder, couldn't really get it halfway back without it feeling like a knife was going into it. So played through it for a while and uh, this past fall, it I mean got so bad to where I could hardly even take the club back. So I knew there was uh, something wrong in there. I just didn't know what it was. So uh, when he told me, I wasn't surprised. Uh, the timing of it was perfect. My wife was, um, shoot, probably not eight and a half months pregnant when I found out and knew I was going to have to have the surgery pretty quick, so uh, allowed me to be a, a full-time dad. Physically, I was struggling for about a year, um, not necessarily with uh, any part of the game, golf swing-wise, but I mean just health-wise I knew that I was playing through something that I probably shouldn't have, but when they give you the opportunity to travel around to the coolest places in the world and play the best golf courses in the world against the best players in the world. It's hard to say no to that. So um, I should have probably got it checked out and shut it down a little bit earlier, but um, you know, I I'm still young and dumb and uh, still learning. So um, I mean, I'm definitely jumping at the bits to get back out there, but health is first and foremost. I had the surgery back in January. Um, timeline is to be determined. Um, I wanted to try and get back out and play a little bit this fall, but uh, it looks like that's going to get put on hold. Um, just trying to build up the strength. Whenever I feel like I can practice and play seven days in a row um, with little to no soreness, I feel like that'll be about the time when I'm ready to compete. Coming back in town, I called Bill and Puggy and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to be back in town. and. Uh, when I was in Augusta, I practiced and played a lot with the uh, kids on the team there. and I just love being around a competitive environment and I feel like uh, a college golf team is about as competitive as it gets. So, um, I mean, just being able to get around and mix it up with really good players and uh, be able to compete, uh, that's why I wanted to talk to Bill and, and hopefully have a little bit of access out here. Playing for a guy like Bill is very easy. He does expect a lot out of you, um, so when you're playing for him, he, he expects you to work hard, he expects you to at least get your work done in the classroom to, to stay eligible, and um, he expects for you to compete at a high level as well, so, um, I mean, playing for a guy like that was very easy. He's also fun, he's one of the more fun, uh, joking around, uh, we'll pull a prank on you in a minute type of coaches, so um, playing for him wasn't that difficult, and now, we have a little different relationship. Um, I feel like I can give them a little bit more grief now and, and not have to worry about that three or four hour bus ride <laughs> to, for him to get me back. As far as golf is concerned, I, I feel like having a facility like this is probably one of the better career moves I could have made as well. The facility we're sitting at right now, it's great. It's, I would say, right up there with the best in the country. Um, not just uh, as universities are concerned, but I mean just overall practice facilities. Uh, week in and week out, I'm at, at the best golf courses in the world, and I mean this practice facility right here stacks up uh, with all of them, so um, I mean just having a, a quality product to get ready to go back uh, to do what I've been doing um, is definitely going to help.